All right, number nine. There is a show that comes on right after this that you may know of. It's called Daytime Chicago. And yesterday, Amy and Marissa were chatting about some great topics. The first one uh, was, is it okay to leash your kid? Uh, <laughs> that's a real conversation starter, right? Uh, you know my answer. Uh, and how about this one? Uh, New York City man caught at border with pythons in his pants. Huh. Yeah. Hot topics of the day. Yeah. yeah. Is that a python in your pants, or are you? <laughs> I can see me. I don't know what I think about the leash uh, on your kid. Uh, we never did it, but those kids can be gone in a second. Oh, my little gremlins have been gone in a minute. Yeah. yeah. You I haven't done it yet, but if I was in a crowded place and I was nervous, whatever you got to do yeah. to keep them safe, yeah. it's fine. Do whatever you want. As long as the leash isn't around the well, neck. Oh, no, Rob, come on. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how right. it works. And when you stop to have a cigarette break, don't tie the leash to the railing. Right. You're, going to get a, you're going to get a coffee, a time outside. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. There's, there's a bottle of water. You'll be fine. Yeah. You said that so serious. I know. Well, as long as we don't, right? <laughs> All right, number eight. Let's talk about how to eat Toblerone. It's oh, yeah. actually kind of hard to break off oh, one of those little pieces. Me. You've probably been pulling it out of the package and then cracking a piece of it off, but that can be messy. You're your fingers can end up covered in chocolate. Instead, try pushing those little triangles inward toward the rest of the bar. Then tap them to break them off. If you really need a tutorial, you can find it online. I don't think I've ever had that. I don't think I have either. No, it's me. a big commitment to chocolate. That's a yeah. lot of chocolate. Yeah. Okay. Number seven, this is the guy who invented Vaseline, Robert Cheese Bros, started producing Vaseline in 1872, which he discovered as a byproduct of oil production. The workers in the field told him the only uh, use this stuff was uh, it, it made cuts and burns feel a little better. Cheese Bro came up with a way to manufacture it, and he believed in his product so much that he would stab and burn himself, oh. then apply Vaseline to well, prove to pharmacists how well it worked. Right before he died, he revealed that he also ate a spoonful of the stuff every single day. Cheese Bro did live to be 96, wow. so he might have been on to something. There's some comedian that popped up on my feed that does a whole bit on Vaseline about how you still have Vaseline. How do they not go out of business? Yeah, you never use it. You it's just, one thing everyone's got it. the yeah. same jar they've had since 1970. <laughs> right. right. It never goes Because when you need it, you need it, but you don't need it that often. You know what I mean? So yeah. uh, interesting. All right, number six. Here's some uh, info about wartime pianos. During World War II, the government stopped production of pretty much every musical instrument, including pianos, but they knew music could boost the morale of troops overseas, and a regular old piano wouldn't do. So Steinway & Sons made the Victory Vertical. It's an upright piano with low legs, water-resistant glue, anti-insect treatment, and iron-wound strings. Excuse me. It weighed 455 wow. pounds, so it was light enough for soldiers to carry but tough enough to survive airdrops. Wow. Unlike the typical black and brown Steinways, these were painted olive green, blue, and gray. So the Victory Vertical was dropped by parachute into foreign countries, wow. along with tuning equipment and instructions. Yeah. The soldiers loved them, and from 1942 to 1953, over 3,000 were huh. dropped to troops overseas. Are you, wow. wow, I had never heard that. Yeah. Fascinating. Mm. All right, number five, from mullets to shags, celebs are loving 80s hair right now. Remember Miley Cyrus at the Grammys? Oh, I do. Telling <laughs> Kurt Russell and Overboard. She's not the only one. Blake Lively is rocking the big perm with the corkscrew curls. Gigi Hadid's also got the 80s vibe with wavy blonde locks. I don't know if we have any we photos don't have pictures of them. We just have <laughs> pictures of Kurt Russell and okay. Miley, I think. Uh, don't forget. Oh, there's Gigi. You would know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Florence Pugh with her, her white blonde mullet oh, no. goes with the current trend of more is more. Ah. Yeah, there we go. Uh, number four, 80s hair got us thinking about this commercial from 1989. Want to change the way you look? Turn on the crimper for oh, one year. And I get one of these. Crimp it a little for a new twist. Or if that's not enough, Crimp it a lot and go for totally wild. Yeah. Look spectacular tonight. Tomorrow you can always tame it for a more casual style. It doesn't cost a fortune to look like a million mm. with the crimper from Windmere. <laughs>
That seems healthy yeah. for your hair, huh? Do you remember yeah. you could like change out the plates and put a different crimp and No. No? Okay. Well. I, don't, I don't even think I got that. I remember I tried that once with when I went to the old party and I had that oversized sweater and my uh, turtleneck on, Larry. Oh, just whatever. Go on. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> what else were you wearing? Stirrup pants. Some high-waisted <laughs> jeans. Yes. Maybe. <laughs> Just what every every college boy is looking yeah. for. Did you have a cardigan over that turtleneck? <laughs> oh, let me unbutton no. another shirt. It's getting warm in here. I had a turtleneck and a denim shirt, oh, yeah. then the oversized oh. sweater. <laughs> Three layers to get through. Boy, you're sending a message with that outfit. Good lord. Yeah. And the crimped hair with and it. And like that a looks like a ball. treasure what map. <laughs> Good. <laughs> no, number three, the B team did a succession spoof. It was great, but what got people talking the most was this. Yeah. Here's Marcus uh, with yeah. dyed blonde hair, smoking a heater. <laughs> uh, don't come for him. It was from a short film project he did years ago. He was playing a character he does not smoke. Marcus never smoked. Again, it was a short film. But this blonde version of Marcus reminded us of someone. Wow. Well, <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, wow. Chester Bennington, lead singer of the band Lincoln Park. This video from 2009, the hair, the angst, all of it. Why have we played that movie in its entirety? Yeah, I'd like to know I what this student this. project film is. Marcus is quite the actor there. Oh, maybe that's maybe that's our number one for tomorrow. Ooh. Let's see the film. Maybe we can talk to the director <laughs> to get the outtakes and all that. His name is Marcus Lachey. Great lighting oh, on that oh, film. I, I, oh, great yeah. lighting on that film. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you're young. You don't need good lighting. Yeah. Uh, all right, number two. Naps are good for the heart. A study from Switzerland followed the nap habits of around 3,000 people for five years. They found that taking one or two naps a week could lower your risk for heart attack and stroke. And the people who took cat naps in the middle of the day actually had better heart health. They were almost half as likely to suffer a serious heart issue or stroke. For people who don't have the time to sleep for multiple hours in the middle of the day, experts say those short naps will do the job too. Even just 15 minutes will help you out. That's good. Hmm. All right, number one, comedian Shane Gillis hosted Saturday Night Live over the weekend. Uh, this is one of those bits that got cut for time. And done. We're on it. Quickly, now. Somebody's paying for coverage they don't need. <laughs> Liberty Mutual lets you customize and save, so you only pay for what you need. Whoa, really? Oh! What the f***? Lemu? Lemu? <laughs> 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 I need to think. <laughs> I think I would have noticed if you had. I think you did that again. It's almost like you wanted this to happen, Lemu. Act like a damn cowboy. Do you know what they do to insurance salesmen in jail? <laughs> Fine, do it. <laughs> well, you knew this guy was a dealer? This was all so you could steal his stash and sell it for yourself? <laughs> you're dirty, Limu, and now you dirtied my myself too. Are <laughs> <laughs> letting them customize and save? <laughs> oh God, he's still alive. What are we gonna do? Oh no. Switching my insurance. Uh, it got cut for time. That's awesome. <laughs> that's great. Oh, yeah. that's the night at night. <laughs> <laughs>